So welcome guys, this is Conduition. I am Rob Shiva. I'll be the host of this show tonight, this video. So you know, this is one of my all-time favorite, favorite uh, videos to watch. I loved this video since I was a kid, and I wasn't sure why until I got older I started looking at it more closely. I literally watch this, I would say, at least a few times in the week. You know, in one week I may watch it two to three times some reason I don't know if it's just nostalgic for me you know because I had such a great memory as a child uh, you know during that time and uh, just the whole setup of it all and uh, the whole premise is great you know I didn't really know anything about uh, Rod Serling until I was older but I just appreciated deep down inside what he was trying to do you know, and I didn't really even know or understand that much when I was a kid until I got older and started to have this more, so it was like art, as you keep looking at it, it just starts to be more appreciated, you know, for what it is. And I think this is what I looked at, his art, and started really appreciating it. But let's take a closer look at this and I'll, I'll you know, tell you exactly what went through my mind, what's going through my mind. So the reason that I pause it there, this guy is one of my favorite, I always wanted to write something with a character like this this character his name is jack elam so i looked him up and you know, i just thought he was an extreme you know his acting everything was so great and characters like this in movies have always intrigued me you know because he seems to be the most odd character that's out there you know the odd one out and he would be the first one people would suspect but yet he's very witty you know he kind of knows exactly what he's talking about and it seems like you know he's on to what's going on as well because he's the first one to point out who the, who, who the character is you know and I'm not going to say who the character is but he's the first one to kind of say well you know hey what about this guy you know and everybody else is kind of like you know in a stupor because they're not sure what's going on when they have all this extra uh, um, you know uh, what do you want to call it? Extra ordinary things happening, supernatural kind of almost, you know. And uh, you know, it keeps people at bay on how to deal with this as well because they're kind of caught in this place that's, you know, uh, you know, de dealing with something that their senses can't comprehend in any way whatsoever. So it is, you know, it is on the supernatural side. If you don't understand what it is, there's really no science at that moment to back it up. But this character, Jack Elam, is just to me, like I said, I was writing some stuff where I'm trying to create a character like that and some of the stuff that I write. And uh, as I said, I just love characters like this. So this is a brilliant idea as well because if you look at uh, the depth of what um, Rod Serling was doing in a lot of his uh, Twilight Zone episodes, you know, he was really tackling a lot of serious issues uh, uh, you know in in the world on you know things dealing with with humanity you know social issues that people couldn't talk about and he used a very creative uh, medium to do this he created like this sci-fi uh, um, you know canvas and and uh, basically put everything in to his stories and dealt with it uh, as if you know, it was just beautiful, and uh, this is, I love this. I love Rod Sterling. I love everything that he's done, and it's you know, it just blows my mind. But I can go on and on and on. But let's take a look at this and and, and watch it a little bit further. I just noticed something uh, else really interesting because if you look at the character that they chose to be the Martian, it's the one that no one suspects. It's the businessman that's you know on the move to go get his next meeting done or whatever it is, big next big uh, business venture. And you would never suspect that guy because he fits within the normal uh, parts of society, you know. And it seems it's so interesting that that Rod Serling would choose the odd man out, the most strangest, creepiest guy, in other words, and put him as the guy that actually is figuring these things out. In reality, that's true. What he's doing is is pretty much stating something that's true because these guys are already on the other side you know of what's normal so they're gonna recognize something that doesn't fit you know so it's, it's just the beauty of it it just so fascinating man you know I, I can't say enough about this but uh, let's look further 
Okay, so the reason that I pulled this back here, the woman in the back always reminded me of like Stifler's mom. So I think it was, I forgot which, uh, if that's American Pie or what it is, but uh, it reminded me of Stifler's mom. <laughs> she had the same kind of like nuance and characteristics that uh, Stifler's mom had. And in this, you know, it's so funny when he says, Ch check her for. Uh, check her uh, her legs to see how many legs she has and he says and then uh, her, the line that she says is really funny he's like cut it out uh, grandpa or something like that <laughs> and it's really 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 uh, a nice play between these two well his character I think kind of like really made this so much more interesting he kind of really brought it to life for me and uh, you know it's funny it also it's really interesting because if you look you know we have in law enforcement today they always look at the odd man out as being the one that's the most suspicious and i think that may have been happening for the longest time because it's probably not something that's just in present day uh you know our present uh, world it's probably happened back in that time as well and uh that's why it was kind of emphasized here that he went automatically and started picking on uh on the odd man out you know on jack elam's character which i think is great you know uh and look this is another way of him dealing with that as well of that same dynamic between how these people are treated you know because he was very big on on these uh issues huge you know and uh it's just fascinating to watch like i said when i was a kid i just appreciated it for what it was but as i got older and you know i have a uh two degrees in chemical substance abuse counseling and uh you know i worked as a counselor for a while so i got to work with a lot of people that were like myself I wasn't addicted to any drugs or anything but I could say that I'm the odd man out and whatever I do we have that in common you know and I could understand being the odd man out and I, I think that's why I appreciate this character so much you know it just blows my mind you know and uh, let's look a little bit further because like I said I can keep going on and on about this guy and the situation so again we have an interesting aspect here like an another thing that was fascinating to me is that not even this guy Jack Elam, who's the odd man out, knew that that guy who's sitting behind the counter, standing behind the counter, was. If you haven't seen this, I'm sorry, but it's the only way I can do this. Most likely, people have seen this already uh, that are watching this video, so I apologize to the ones who've never seen it. But the guy behind the counter is one of the actual aliens, which is interesting because even I didn't suspect anything. That came as a big as a big surprise to me. I remember uh, me and my uh, foster brother talking about it, being like, yeah, man, that was amazing. And you know, one of the funny things I looked at, you look at the prices of everything, buttermilk hotcakes, 60 cents. I think coffee was like 10 cents. Apple pie was like 15 cents, you know, 35 cents. <laughs> you know, it's like really funny, the prices. I just threw that in just because it was so interesting to watch. But yeah, this this guy always reminds me of Joe, Joe Rogan for some reason, I don't know why, but the guy behind the counter, the uh, one working there with the hat. But uh, if you haven't seen this, it's brilliant. It's just very fascinating. And I think you might enjoy it if, if you haven't seen this episode. But I like to look deep into these things. And like I said, it's fascinating that the guy that... He, again, you know, these are people that are put in everyday, ordinary places. And, then, you know, this goes back to... You know, you guys know I'm big into alien conspiracy because I had... Uh, many things happened to me as a child which i'm documenting on this channel as well and you can see it here but uh it's interesting that so many people have spoken about uh aliens even in the news recently as, as a matter of fact that aliens are among us you can google that and see there been cnn talked about it you know that there are aliens among us and then you have david ike's been talking about it for a good good minute too you know and uh I, I kind of always suspected there was something different, something going on. And the more I look at it, you know, like when I look at this, he kind of, like I think Rod Serling himself must have believed that there was something going on to be able to put these things together the way that he did. And, you know, he must have maybe he even was privy to certain knowledge that we weren't. You know, he, he was, I don't know. I never really got to see anything that gave us any in-depth knowledge of who he was you know except for his uh interviews and uh he you know i don't know if he actually spoke anything about this but it almost gives me really the feeling that he actually believed that there were aliens living amongst us i i just have the strange feeling that he he carried that notion uh and it would make sense you know it, it would make sense because of all the work that he's done uh and the type of work that he's done and it all alludes to the same idea 
you know, that there is something going on. You know, the Twilight Zone to me is just, you know, that place in our minds where where we question things and, you know, anything can happen t- type of thing. And uh, he just put it on the screen, you know, you know, turned it into a portal that we could watch and, and witness these things in his stories. You know, so it's just really, really beautiful. And I, I always think that this show is going to go on forever and be one of those, uh, you know, uh pivotal moments in history that kind of opened the door for everything else i really think that that rod sterling was that guy you know he kind of like was that pandora's box and kind of like let it out all the weirdness and all the strangeness and you know just i think because of his show is why we have so many amazing other shows out there you know because if you look i've been looking at a lot of movies and a lot of them are spin-offs of a lot of the episodes that he did you know, so I mean, he had a plethora of ideas, so it only makes sense. You know, I like giving credit where it's due, but a lot of people don't. But I do because I always think it's important. Uh, okay, let's take a little bit further look at this as well. So th- this this is great. This is really great. I I love the fact that um, you know, he, when this guy Jack Elam, my favorite character, says, you know, you're letting a monster out. The funny thing is, look at the guy behind him. He's the other alien. He's another monster in reality, you know. I don't know if there were good or bad aliens, uh, you know. Some may be benevolent, some are malevolent. That's what they say, but I don't know. It's probably true. But um, it's just such an interesting thing that he kind of said, you're letting a monster out. Meanwhile, the monster's running that shop right there. He owns that shop, and the other one's supposedly going to a business meeting. But, you know, it's so funny how things could happen under our noses. And we would never know that there probably are galactic wars happening out in space. But we don't have any means to be able to see it because it's so far away. You know, if you look at the distance in space, it's it's unfathomable to the human mind. And, the, you know, we can, f- you know, fathom the, the, the concept of the distance. But, you know, light years is a long, long time. You know, one light year would be traveling the speed of light. 186,000 miles per second for one entire year you don't know how much distance that would be you know that's the one second is is 186,000 miles an entire year at that speed how much ground you know it's like you know so that's why we, things could be happening out there we'll never know about but like I said, I wonder if this this show, The Twilight Zone, because if they have like other, uh, I always figure if they have other uh, civilizations out there that can pick up, you know, our signals, and they get the Twilight. This show might be if this. I would believe that this show would be popular on on uh, many different uh, uh, planets out there in galaxies, and even. Um, maybe even different dimension. I don't know if they could pick up our, our stuff here. But I figure that Rod Sterling is so universal that people everywhere in the universe would love his stuff. You know? And uh, I, I, I love his stuff completely. Guys, I just wanted to put this out there just to kind of like talk about it a little bit and bring up, you know, some of the, the ideas and talk about how in-depth this man was and how courageous he was to, you know, to do the things that he did, talk about the things that he did because it did pave way for a lot of other great people to come out and do some great stuff as well and like i said i like to pay homage and respect back to the people that were the originators just like rod serling you know and uh jack elam i hope they have more character actors like this man he's amazing and uh you know all of them were great but this guy like these characters are my favorite you know maybe i can relate with him in more than one one way who knows you know (laughs) All right, guys, I'll leave you with that, and I'll see you in the next videos. Please don't forget to uh, hit that like button and the notification bell so you can get my videos when they come in. And because that really will enable me to buy a mansion and and a Bugatti. I'm just kidding, guys. (laughs) It'll enable me to get food so I can eat and to pay my rent because there's a whole long story of why that's been taken away from me by by, um, certain people. And uh, I'll get into that at certain points, but... uh, you know, I'll leave you with that, guys. Stay safe, and uh, if you have any comments and feedback, please leave it for me. I will answer everything that you guys uh, put out there, or try to at least say, you know, make, maybe I'll make a video to answer the, some of the comments. I think I'll do that to make it easier. But I love talking about this stuff, and, you know, about aliens and anything else, and this is Conduition, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay safe, guys.